All right, so we are at the beginning of week four check-ins. So this is the start of week four of prep. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of posing practice, get some videos of it, get check-in pictures, and uh, yeah, so exciting start to the week. We are back for Bikini Prep 2024. I'm super duper excited and um, it's been a little over two years since I last stepped on stage. My last show was in September of 2021 and last season went great. Well, my last season, even though it wasn't like last year, my last competition season went really well. I did two shows. I trained with Team Elite Physique. And I did the, um, I did a muscle contest show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I did a Samson production show in Las Vegas, Nevada. So I did both of my shows in Vegas and they were a month apart. So I did in August, 2021 and September, 2021. And my goal in 2021 was to become a nationally qualified competitor, which means I had to place top two in my class at one of those shows. And I did that. I had, I was so freaking excited. I got second at the muscle contest show. I was super stoked. And uh, I, was the first time I ever got second, I had been one off two times before um, being nationally qualified. My very first show, it was top three and I got fourth. And then my 20, 18 shows that's when it changed to top two and I got third so I had been one off twice previously and so this time I was just very excited to get that and it was the best I've ever looked I looked phenomenal on stage I think I was very competitive and I um yeah I did ultimately decide not to go to nationals I definitely didn't have the size to be competitive there so I still small I just needed more muscle mass and so that's what led to taking a two year slightly longer than two year off season so I have been not dieting for two full years and uh, we officially started prep and by we I mean me um, started prep January 1st. So we're four weeks in as of right now. So I've been prepping for four weeks and it's going really well. It does feel weird to be dieting again after so long. Like there were a couple like diet breaks or a couple like little mini cuts in that two years, but they weren't as strict as prep. Like I would still go out to eat once a week or something like that. I would still have like a serving of chips here and there. So it has been an adjustment to get back into like prep mode with my diet just because I mean, it's, it's pretty strict. Like I'm, I'm not going out to eat. Um, I'm not having like little random snacks. I'm not going over maybe like one day here and there, um, sticking to the plan. So it does feel a little bit weird to be to prepping again. I mean, it's been so long. I got really used to not prepping. Um, but yeah, and then this go around, something that's very different is I am coaching myself. So it's, it's kind of an experiment just to see how it goes, see if I can do it. There have been already in the first four weeks, been some unique challenges. Um, just, just trying to decide like, should I have a refeed? Do I need a refeed? Should I drop calories? Or am I panicking too soon? So just like, a, um, just some more of the emotional side of things. And I've, I feel like I've done a pretty good job of taking that out and looking at stuff objectively. We'll see how that goes as prep continues. But for now, I just wanted to kind of see how it would go. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of an experiment. I don't know if I would ever do it again. Well, I'll let you know toward the end of prep as we get as we go through. But yeah, I just wanted to um, to see how, see if I could do it, I guess. Kind of just like another challenge to see if I could do it. Um, so my approach for this prep is I am taking a flexible dieting approach. So I'm giving myself calorie, protein, and then loose macro targets. So I'm hitting my calories, 
but then I'm hitting a minimum protein and then a rough ish carb and fat goal. So, um, so kind of macro tracking, but a little bit looser than trying to hit within like five grams of each. Um, some days I get a lot more fat. Some days I get a lot more protein. There's very few days I get a lot more carbs. I apparently just don't eat high carb. Um, is what I'm learning about myself. But uh, yeah, so we're really taking just a flexible dieting approach, still eating mostly minimally processed whole foods. Um, Once in a while, I have had a little bit of candy in there. Um, Just a a handful of times actually though, when I have like like an extra 150 calories, I'm like, you know what? We can fit that in, I'm gonna have it tonight. But yeah, so flexible dieting approach. Another big difference is I'm maintaining my running. So this is something I've never done during a prep is maintaining my running fitness. I have ran all of my preps, but um, miles were drastically, drastically dropped. Like my 2021 prep, I was running 10 miles a week. Um, And that was just because I was trying to maintain my run streak, which means I had to run at least one mile every day, which is seven right there. So I was only running 10 per week. Um, Currently I'm running 23 per week, um, 20 real miles. And then I'm getting three miles um, extra because of the one miles I'm running on my rest on my not running days to keep up the run streak. Um, so I'm getting about 23 miles per week, which breaks down to, I have it written down about three and a half hours of cardio per week right now, which is a drop from where I was doing cardio before. I had a, I had a little bit of a drop in December because I did take like 10 days, um, of, just kind of off. I mean, I did my mile, but I took, took a decent amount of time off to get ready to start prep. Um, so those, so technically my miles dropped in December, but in November they were 30, um, roughly 30 per week before that. I think I had a little bit of low over a month, but then before that they were like 40 cause I was half marathon training. So, um, they have been kind of oscillating, but miles are not high. Um, but I really wanted to maintain my running fitness throughout this prep, which is like I said, something I have not done before. And since I'm coaching myself, I can get away with it. Um, we'll see if it has any really negative consequences. Um, I've learned a lot about hybrid training since my last prep though. So I do feel pretty confident in my ability to prep and maintain my running fitness. Mainly I like to run and I don't want to completely lose all of it. So right now I'm running four days a week. I have two three mile runs, a five mile run, and one long run, which is nine miles on the weekends. Um, I am about ready to add in some speed work, I think, because I do feel like I can do one day of like some type of speed work. Not too difficult though. So yeah, so that's where my cardio is at. Um, And then I'm just doing five lifts per week, which is, you know, really pretty, pretty standard. So Going into the 2024 season, what are the goals? My goal is to do three shows. I want to do MPC and I want to make my OCB debut. I've never done an OCB show. I am a natural athlete and I have not done a natural show. So I am going to be doing an OCB show this year. And I'm really excited to give it a try. I've gone to a couple here, like as a spectator, I've gone to, um, I've gone to one. I watched one on like a pay-per-view and yeah, I think it, I'm, I'm excited. We are going to be doing that. So my shows that I'm aiming for are, there's one in April that is here in, in, in town. So I won't have to travel at all. That's the first show I'm aiming for. That is April 20th. So as of right now, that would be 12 weeks out. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can be ready for that. Obviously things can change, but that's the one I'm aiming for, which is about 12 weeks from now. And I think I will be ready. Um, And then I'm looking at a May MPC show in Kansas City. So that's about a three hour drive. Um, That is a MPC natural show. So that'll be really fun. I've never done a natural show in MPC. Uh, So that will be exciting. And then I'm doing a June OCB show in Omaha. Um, So that'll be my first OCB show. And then probably wrap up my season with three shows that'll be about six months of dieting we will see though i mean it can definitely change so my goal is to requalify for npc nationals i want to see how i'm stacking up in the npc see how much muscle i've built in the two years that i took off and my goal in the ocb is just to see how i look in the ocb and to try and get my ocb pro card which is i do think a realistic possibility for me in the ocb so National Qualified NPC, OCB Pro Card is the ultimate goal. 
Do I know for sure if either of those things will happen? No, but that is what I am aiming for. And I'm super duper excited to go for it. Um, I'm really excited to see the changes, see how I'm looking um, from 2021 to when I step on stage this year. I do feel like I've built a decent amount of muscle and I had really been focusing on my upper body. So we're hoping those shoulders are looking a lot better when we hit the stage and um yeah, so really excited. Also something that's different this year is I can do the master's category now. I turned 35 this past summer, so I can do master's in both MPC and OCB. So that is something I'm going to consider doing is doing the master's categories. We'll see, they're very competitive. So um, I would still be doing open, of course. My stats at day one started about 135.6, and I'll make sure I put pictures up here. And then as of today, I was 131.6. So I'm down four pounds um, since day one. So four pounds in four weeks, right on target. I am looking at probably my last stage weight was about 122. Um, 121, 122. Ideally, I've put on at least a few pounds of muscles over the last couple years. So I'm aiming probably for a stage weight of 124, 125, maybe even 126. We'll see what I'm looking like. Obviously that's just a guess, but that's what I'm aiming for, which means I have plenty of time to drop. What is it? Five, six, six to seven pounds in the next 12 weeks. So I should be good. I've been taking a very not aggressive approach to prep. My calories are still pretty high. I'm at about 2000 on average right now. Um, and before I drop calories, I actually would up my running. So, cause right now I'm only running four days a week, which is weird. I, I never do that. So I would probably add a fifth day before I dropped calories. Um, so we'll see, but I'm not going to, cause I'm still losing weight. I'm aiming for technically I have, I could go less than a pound a week, but it's been about a pound a week on average. So doing okay there. Um, so yeah, that is, I guess it, I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing a video a week. I know I didn't start on day one, but we're starting now. So, and I'm really, really stoked to get on stage again. Like I am so excited. I was so excited that I was looking at doing a show in March and I was gonna like really push the prep and like not do an ideal show. Justin talked me out of it, which is probably a good thing. I think that's it. I think rest of this video, I think I did a full day of eating and uh, I'm excited to take you on my journey for to hitting blah, blah, blah can't talk. I'm excited to take you on my prep 2024 journey and I'm excited to hit the stage. Okay, so did work for a couple hours or so, um, made some progress. I was kind of on a roll with, you know, email and post writing and stuff, but I'm feeling really hungry and it's starting to be distracting. So I'm going to eat and then continue to work for a little while and then I'll probably do my lift and my run. It's supposed to be a little warmer today than it has been. It's been like the negatives um like negative seven feel like negative 20 outside and so today it's like 30s so it should be a much more enjoyable run today and i do think i am going to add in some speed work so i haven't been doing any speed work for quite some time and i feel like my runs are getting slower and i'm keeping running in because i want to maintain my running fitness which means i do want to maintain a little bit of speed so i think i'm going to add in probably today but maybe tomorrow on my, f we'll see, I don't know, I'll decide today exactly how I want to do it. But I think I'm just going to add in some little, little bit of speed work. So really all that'll look like is I'll probably just do a handful of like 30 to 60 second hard pushes um, during my run. Or maybe I'll do like 400 repeats to get in my miles. I don't know yet. I will have to think. Um, so right now energy is still good with prep, which it should be. I'm still 13 weeks out, so energy should be fine. Um, so I, I think I can do that and then that'll help with my running. And yeah, so that is gonna happen. So I'm gonna make breakfast right now because I'm starving. I'm getting ready to go lift. I really feel like lifting at the big gym 
but the workout I have today is really tailored a lot more toward the garage gym, but I really, I don't know, I'm just in the mood for the big gym. Maybe I should just do it and I'll just modify because like I have like barbell chest press. I don't have access to a barbell at Planet Fitness, but I could do, I could do dumbbell maybe. I just modify it this one week. I mean, I'll still get the same work and uh, I don't know. I'm going to look again. I'm going to look again and see if I can modify because, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really not in the mood to do this lift. It's dreary out and muddy and I also don't feel like running outside. So I'm like, I'd rather run on the treadmill and watch some YouTube. But let's see. We have, gosh, there's kind of, I'd have to make a lot of modifications. Not a lot, but enough, like three. I guess that's not that much, is it? And I could still do all the same movements. I don't know. I will. I'm going to decide in a second. And then I'm going to either work out here or drive to the gym. We'll find out. I'll surprise you and let you know. All right. So we ended up going to Planet Fitness. I don't know. I just was not feeling running outside. It's gross and gray. It's not nearly as cold. It didn't hurt my face to walk outside, which is nice. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just really wasn't feeling it. It's hard for me to get motivated in the afternoons or basically any not right when I wake up time to run and lift. Usually if I only have one or the other to do, I can get a little bit more into it. But I had to do both still and gosh, it's just, I'm like, you know what? We're just going to the gym. I know it's a waste of time and I didn't really have to make the drive, but it was, it was more enjoyable. I'm glad I did. I'm listening to an audiobook while I lift. Um, and while I run, I didn't on the treadmill. If I run on the treadmill, I watch YouTube, but on my runs outside, I've been listening to an audiobook and it's like, uh, what lies in the woods? Uh, it's very good. The audiobook is great. I don't typically do audiobooks, but this was free on Spotify and it's for a book club that I'm doing and I didn't want to have to go buy a book. And it had like a 15 person wait list at the library. So it's like crap. But then I saw it on Spotify for free because I pay for Spotify premium. And so it's like, all right, I'll just try that. And the audiobook's really good. The the person reading is doing a great job. I really like it. And um, yeah, so it's a really good book. I would definitely recommend it. It's I'm almost done. I have like an hour and a half left to listen. And oh man, it's got some twists that I did not see coming. So it's definitely, I'm like, I'm excited to run tomorrow to listen to Oh, I have like an hour for my run and I have an hour and a half left. Oh my God, that's going to be tense. I might have to listen to it during my lift too. So then we can finish. Oh my God. So exciting. It's, it's pretty good, but okay. Now I'm going to go home, eat some lunch and, uh, maybe do a little bit more work, check on some client stuff and then probably call her a day. Cause I started work technically at 6 AM. So I, yeah. So yeah, probably just a tad more and then um, but lunch first because I'm starving. All right, we are home. I am cooking some lunch. I just mushed up some avocado. It was supposed to be 60 grams, but there was only 40 grams left and the uh, avocado and the other one I have is not ready. So I guess we're doing 40 grams. And then I am also making some white rice and heating up some kielbasa. This is one of my favorite meals. I absolutely love it. It's so freaking good. And then on top of it all or with it all, I don't know how you want to say it, I guess, is going to be Bragg's Aminos. So delicious. Yeah, I'll show you the finished product. It's not super pretty actually because the avocado makes it like a slimy green, but delish. Here's the final product. Told you it doesn't look super, super delicious, but oh man, let me tell you, it's freaking good. And I'm doing my annual reread of Harry Potter. Yay! So, I did an excellent job of vlogging food all day and then I forgot to do supper. I had a bowl of Cheerios, I had a bowl of cottage cheese, and some broccoli. So it wasn't a very exciting supper, but still. But I did remember before I had my snacks, so I'm going to show you that really fast. Popcorn. And fun dip while we watch Too Fast too furious. We're going through all the ones that are on for watching on Prime. So yeah. But yeah. Okay. So full day. Good day. Everything got in. And uh, now I'm going to eat some popcorn.